Hey guys, I have a confession to make. You see, I'm addicted to thrifting. Like, I love thrifting. I'm like the Diet Coke of thrifting addicts because I don't want to go every single day to the thrift store or anything, but I love to shop there. It's my first experience at a thrift store was my mom took me once. We were low on a budget for school clothes when I went to school and I was like, ooh, ooh, people have worn these before and just, you know, the OCD kicks in and you're like, I'm not wearing any of these. I would rather have store bought. But since mom was like, well, we're not leaving, I'm going to look myself. So as the hour and some minutes, I got curious and picked around and seen what the prices to some really awesome clothes were. And I was blown away. Like, a name brand shirt, like a high end name brand shirt that you can get like at, at the mall or something really, really up there or whatever, anywhere, um, was like uber cheap. Like you could find a shirt for a dollar and it would be like an outrageous brand name and I'm speechless. I was blown away. And I, I remember finding half my wardrobe for high school and, and, you know, from there, from my local thrift store, which they didn't move buildings, but they're still pretty close to where I'm located. So I love going in there and finding awesome deals on things. So recently I went to a Goodwill that is in the next town from me. And I found some really cool things and some name brands and some um, brands I hadn't even heard of. And so I got my receipt somewhere and probably in the pile of clothing. Yep, I found it. And I will be reading my amount of how much all this costed. It's, I, I was on a mission to find shirts. I have enough pants. So I was, or whatever, bottoms. So I was looking for tops. And since fall is around the corner and it's getting colder, um, late evenings here, I was on a mission to find tops. And some things, other things caught my eye too that I could wear during the midsummer season. So the first one is this really cute tank that is from the brand Arizona. And it's got some cute colored detail. Really cute on the inside. And there's also some elastic on the back of the Razorback. And it cinches a little bit. And then the bottom around the waist has some elastic to kind of give you a really nice figure. And I really like it. And it's got some coloring really nice coloring and it kind of flows out like a baby doll shirt so I really like that and my next item which I got this in the uh, sleepwear but I'm going to be altering this into a tank top so um, I'm not going to really sleep in it and I love I love the print on the front so this is it Betty Boop, and it's kind of like Halloween-ish, and it says, totally wicked. How cute is that? I love it. And she's got like her little dog, and it's like a, it's not a bright, bright pink, but it's a shade of pink. And then at the bottom, it's got like these little girly ruffles, and I'm going to probably cut so much down on it, and make it a, just a plain old tape to wear. I love altering shirts. It's like the best. Like you could make them your own. Make them into your style. Make them into anything you would like. I love t-shirt recons. 
my next thing. I love cardigans. I'm really into cardigans or sweaters or that of the sweater kind. <laughs> Pull pullovers, cardigans. It's a purple cardigan, thanks for noticing. Yeah, so this one is white and it buttons down and it's got some cute little lace kind of detail going on around the midsection. It also cinches, you know, and the sleeves aren't very long, so this will be a fall sweater cardi. And one thing to look for when you get um, button shirts or sweaters or shirts or clothing that has buttons on them, coats, whatever, um, you want to look for them to have all their buttons, which this one did, so I didn't have to replace them. But you can also replace them, or you can replace them and change them and make them more to your style. But I look for them having everything that they should. Buttons, snaps, Velcro. I look for that when I thrift. Um, the next item is also white, and I was looking more for fall clothing, long sleeves, little sweaters, cutesy things, because um, I like cutesy things. Anyway, so this one is it's a long sleeved white shirt. It's kind of plain until the bottom, and it's got a swoop neck, you want to call it. It's a size medium. And the bottom is a lace. I thought that gave it a really girly look to the shirt. Gave it some more, give it a little, <clears throat> you know. So there's the, the lace, looks really cute. My clothes are attacking me. <laughs> the next item, this one's the second black article that I got in this clothing. I was like, I'm going to try to stay away from the black. Black is my comfort zone, and it's also my favorite color. Well, thus, I have more clothing in black than I do any other color in my wardrobe. So, this is it. I hope all the really wondrous details show up. I have it... Oh, these are all washed, by the way. And once already worn. Um, the baby doll polka dot top has already been worn. The rest of them know. Um, it's got the buttons and it's a sweater cardi and it's got really nice detail if you can see it. Really, really nice. It's got kind of like a lace frilly bib going around and then it's got a collar and I really like it. And it's by Route 66. The next item I got is a hot pink thermal long sleeve. You can pretty much get a theme out of these. And this one is Faded Glory. It's got some buttons. It's got all of its buttons and a really nice cute little pocket. And I really like the color. My next one and this one's the last one and I really like this one. And it's by Arizona, and it's a nice cottony feel, really soft material. I'm going to call it a baseball tee. kind of reminds me of like a baseball jersey with the sleeves cut. Oh, there's also a big long string. I need to cut that. And I really like this. I'm, I was thinking, uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave it plain, because I kind of like it plain, or I'm going to put some like an iron-on or something on it to make it more my style. Um, so that was all the clothes. Sorry, I just kind of tossed that one on my bed and the clothes hangers hit. Um, so that was all that I got in this round of thrifting. There's going to be a lot more thrifting videos to come. I really, I really like them. They're fun. I like doing hauls. And it's not more of, of, of showing off. It's more of you could find this out there for a cheaper price if you wanted it. And so all of my uh, items of clothes, which were about six shirts, came out to be $18.02. That was the
that was less than 20 bucks. So, hey, I did pretty good. <laughs> um, I got it, as I said, I got it at Goodwill. And what I like a lot about Goodwill is they have like this big billboard sign. Well, it's not that big, but <laughs> I just exaggerated. But it's, it's pretty big. And it's got like all like like underwear, shirts, tops, pretty much your daily apparel lo like labeled on it. And then it has like the price of how much it cost is. So you don't have to like, well this cost is this and this cost is that. There's like the big sign and you see what everything costs so you, there's no confusion. And I like it a lot better. I've been to um, many different thrift stores my like high school span to now and some of them have like stickers or tags um that have like the price on them and i i, I don't like those i i like the big board with the um amount the uh price on it i mean some even like have like a little tip of paper and they've stapled it onto the fabric i mean staples that create holes and then there you are like trying to patch up a hole and there's like your thread like i don't i don't like them staples put holes in fabric and stickers the little price stickers like what if you forgot to take one of those off you would wash your clothing and then there would be like a sticker paper mess on everything in your washer pretty much and then the tags well of course they would probably make a hole too and you have to cut them I like knowing the price without there being a big tag. I don't know, I'm just I'm just maintenance difficult to I think it's a lot easier that way though with the big board. <laughs> well, I have rambled long enough, so um, I really liked making this video and I have a bunch of other videos in the lineup of me filming and editing and doing the making magic on them. <laughs> Uh, I have a couple that I would like to do some iron-on patches with. I'm going to do a bunch of t-shirt recons, reconstructions. I've got a couple that I'll just do like a slideshow of, of what I've made so far. I didn't get to videotape those, sadly. But I've still got some more t-shirts to redo or to make. <laughs> and I will be videoing them. Rather, it will be me commentary on them or me doing um, picture by picture of the steps. I don't know, whichever I, I like more, I'll do. Um, so I got a question. This is more towards girls that watch my videos. Um, or guys. Do you like thrifting? Are you addicted to thrifting? And if you've thrifted, make me a big video response. I would love to see what you guys find. <laughs>